dear students in this lecture i am going to teach second assignment of water supply engineering first question under estimation or over estimation of water demand in urban water supply may lead to so under estimation under estimation leads to inadequate design whereas over estimation results in uneconomical and inefficient water supply system uneconomical and inefficient okay so option b for question number 2 coming to question number sorry option b for question number 1 coming to question number 2 annual average per capita water demand of a city expressed in l p c d liters per capita per day this is liter per head per day so water consumed by total population it is not total population it is one person total water consumed by annually not annually it is per day per cap per head water consumption in a day averaged over a year so and fourth option average water consumed by person in a year not it is average averaged over a year so this is option b for question number two coming to question number three water demand estimation is required to calculate design capacity of water intakes so generally intakes will be required the water demand estimation treatment plants and distribution networks all these require water demand estimation okay so answer d for question number three coming to question number four domestic water demand is typically higher in developed countries due to generally higher in developed countries if the country is so developed their living standards were very high they can use much more water than compared to developing countries so because of living standards and use of intensive water so they can provide okay so for that reason answer a for question number four coming to question number five nine lakh population he has given fire demand as per kuchling formula so kuchling formula is kuchling's formula q is equal to 3182 root p so here p has to be substituted in thousands so q is equal to 3182 900000 that will be you will get it is 95460 okay so it is liter per minute so answer d for question number 5 and as per c p h e e o guidelines for water supply of domestic and non domestic unaccounted for water supply is limited to it is 65 percent answer d for question number six it's a direct question coming to question number seven pressure in the water distribution system relates to per capita demand as obviously higher pressure in the water distribution system leads to higher water demand so higher pressure in water distribution 
leads to higher water demand. Okay, so that is option A for question number 7. Coming to question number 8, supply of average water demand may not be sufficient to meet fluctuations due to there are seasonal variations from one season to another season. In one season, you will get more rainfall and in another season, you will not get as you will not receive as much as enough rainfall. So, in that cases, there, there will not be average demand sufficient. So, hourly variation and daily variation. So, sometimes hourly variation, one hour is very uh, hot and some other, uh, some another one hour is cool. Okay. So, for these reasons, uh, all these variations, it may not be sufficient. Supply of average water demand is not sufficient. Answer D for question number 8. Coming to question number 9. Zoning method of population that is limitation of zoning method of population forecasting is so it is only suitable only when the cities have already developed as per their master plan. So then only this method is suitable. So, option C for question number 9. Coming to question number 10. Which of the following options are true regarding statements 1 and 2? He has given two statements. So, better estimate for design capacity of water distribution system for a town using the peak hourly demand. So, obviously peak hourly demand is the best method, best estimate. Okay, that will be uh, for water distribution system. Correct. The estimate of peak hourly demand considers both daily and hourly. So, daily hourly variations will be considered in peak hourly demand. So, both are correct statements. Answer D for question number 10. Coming to question number 11. He has given arithmetic increase method, geometric increase method, growth composition analysis method. So, arithmetic increase method, the rate of increase of population with respect to time is constant okay so it is percentage increase is constant geometric method so it will give sorry arithmetic method will give you lower values and geometric method is percentage increase is constant growth consumption com computation composition analysis method is estimation involves birth death migration rates so option b as per matching okay and he has given problems so the first question is by using arithmetic increase method forecasted population at the design end so i'm solving the problem here he has given 1971 population 81 population 91 population 2001 population and 2011 population it is 69 000, 87 000, 9000 so it is increases how much means it is 18 from here to here it is 18000 and it is 21000 29000 and 32000 so percentage rate increases so r1 is equal to it will be 18 is increase by within how much uh, within 69 originally 69 into 100 so the percentages are 26.08 and 24.14 percent increase 26.85 percent and 23.36 percent and average increase is 18 plus 21 plus 29 plus 32 divided by 4 it will be 25,000 is a average increase so population at the end of design period so he has given population for 2011 and 30 years design period from 2020 to 30 years so 20 plus 30 is 50 so p 2011 plus n x bar so it is 169 plus 4 into 25 you will get 269000 is the population for this problem and by using geometric increase method so the average increase is nth root r1 r2 r3 r4 that is fourth root 25 26.08 into 
P2050 that is population in the 2050 is P2011 into 1 plus R divided by whole power N. So it will be 169 1 plus 25.06 divided by 100 whole power 4. It will be 413.49000. So this is answer. And he has asked a design flow rate in MLD. So flow will be is equal to per capita he has given it is 200. And there are how many population 413.49000. If you will get divided by 10 power 6 you will get it is in MLD. It is 82.69 MLD. And the same flow will be in meter cube per hour. So 8269 million liters per day so million means it is 10 power 6 i am converting this liter into 10 power meter cube and 24 hours it will be 3445 meter cube per hour okay so you need to know all these conversions these are all uh, some he has not given any options so okay thank you